Hello and welcome to Python Fundamentals. In this course, we learn the underpinning Python programming skills, preparing for our journey towards mastering the Django framework and the Python programming language. This tutorial is part of a series of tutorials. You can find the link to the whole playlist in the video description. This tutorial is from our Python Programming Fundamentals for Django Developers course, which you can find and purchase on Udemy. You will find all the latest and updated tutorials, as well as resources and assessments to help accelerate your learning of the subject. The link to the course, which will always provide the best price, can be found in the video description. As we have already learned a little bit about slicing in this section of the course, let's take a look at how to apply slicing to the query set. The same principles apply. Remember the query set, we are returning a list of objects. So we can apply the same principles that we learned previously on slicing to the query set. As a quick recap, remember that the list can be indexed. So the numbers here you can see at the top here are the index numbers referring to the objects or the elements in the list here. So notice here that, for example, Xander, this string is in position or index one and so on. So we can reference and return items, elements, objects from the list referencing the index. And don't forget, we can also use the negative index similar fashion, but here it starts at minus one from the end of a list going up to the end of the list. If you remember, we learned that the slice, there are two or three parameters that we can pass in, start, stop, and also step. But let's just focus on start and stop. So on the left-hand side, we specify where we want to start in the index. And then on the right-hand side, we specify where we want to stop in the index. Now we need to remember the stop has the minus one. So if we, for example, specify to stop at index position five, it would not show that index position five. Remember, we've got to utilize the minus one rule. It will only show the index item before that. Remember, for a full recap, just head back to the slicing tutorial. I'll take you through this and more step by step. Right, so back into the terminal. Let's go into the Python terminal through the manage.py like we did in the previous tutorial. Okay, so first thing we need to do here then is import all of the resources that we need, in this case, the customer table. So from new app, that's the name of my app here, dot and then models. So from models, I want to import customer. So let's import customer. So I bring that resource in. Now I can work with that and run queries. Okay, so let's run a query. Remember we need the model name, customer, dot, then the manager, and then we need the query set API tool, all. And this time let's run a slice. Well, actually let's just show you the fact that, oh, sorry, apologies, it's objects, not object. So we can see here that we can return all the data from the database. I just happen to have three rows in the database. Okay. So now let's go ahead and slice. So at the end here, we can just follow the same slicing patterns like we learned before. So here on the left hand side, it's start and end. Now we know there are three items in our list. So the index for that must be zero, one and two. So let's just grab the, let's just grab from index position one onwards. So that's going to return two items. So you can see here we are now removing the first object from our list. So we start at X and then we move through the rest of the list. So the second example was from the end. Remember here that we need to specify or remember the minus one rule. So we start from the beginning, nothing on the left hand side here, and then we specify where we would like to stop. So let's go ahead and specify from the start, and then we're going to end in index two. Now that obviously means minus one. So we're going to show the first two items in this list, index position zero and index position one. And there we go. 
Of course, we can assign the start and stop. So maybe we want to slice somewhere in the middle of the list. So we can do that too. Don't forget, we also had the minus the minus one here as well. So let's go have, give that a go. So let's just grab the first item only. So remember, this is going to start at index position one, which is the second item in the list, and it's going to end at two. And obviously minus one is one. So that's just going to return the middle item, the middle object in my list. We have previously learned negative index or utilizing the negative index. Unfortunately, in Django, we aren't able to utilize a negative in this scenario. So if we were try to if we were to try to use a negative index, we are actually told it's a value error. Negative indexing is not supported.